Yeah, I used to make the starch for mum and help her hang it on the line. Sometimes the old prop would blow down and it all fall dead all dirty, it'd have to be washed again and <laughs> You'd boil it in a copper or Yeah, Mum had a copper and it with a poker stick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The more she was doing that I'd be up making the starch and, and a ringer? Yeah, a ringer. Mum got a hand caught in it one day. Did it spring up? She had yep. There's no indoor toilets, was there? No, it was the outside toilet. Yeah. Mm. Where is that? Down the backyard. That's what I had to empty. <laughs> Brothers would dig the hole and I'd have to empty it. He'd, he'd dig the hole he'd dig and he'd go, he'd, go, he'd, go, he'd go right up the top of the, the up near the road with a, with a mask on his face so he couldn't smell it. And I'd say, oh, it stinks. He'd say, more fool you. <laughs> and you still see myself struggling out with it and we splish splash, splish splash, you know, and it'd splash on me and they'd say, ah! <laughs> Then I'd have to gradually tip it into the hole. And <laughs> Didn't worry me. Then I'd get the phenyl and I'd clean it all out. It had to be done. I wasn't a princess. On the commode. I didn't mind doing it. I just knew I had to do it before I went to school. So I just used to go and get it and empty it and wash it out and put it back and ready for the next night. <laughs> Didn't worry me. Youth fellowship was every Friday night. It normally started about seven, I think. Once a month we'd stay home, but the other three Friday nights we'd always go somewhere. We might go swimming in the swimming pool or somewhere, and then the pro progressive um, dinners, I don't know how often that was, but then we'd go from place to place. We'd have well, first course, second course, and third course, each three different houses. And we'd have hints to where to go. We never knew where we were going, but there were signs where we had to go. And some of those you had a bonfire. Yeah, down the ferry, and we'd all, sometimes we'd have a barbecue down there, and we'd play spin the bottle, or we'd all sit around in a ring, and they'd spin this bottle, and whoever turned, just so it got on you and me, we'd have to give each other a kiss. But if you, if you didn't like the bloke, you'd think, oh, but you'd have to, you know, just go and <laughs> But it was harmless fun, there was nothing to it. I went straight to, Mum took me to, um, I don't know, it wasn't called Centrelink then, Mum took me into town to the, like an employment bureau and I got a job there and the next day I started work. So as a seamstress, sewing. I never looked back, I never, I wasn't out of work right from the time I left school. Did you work with the same firm or? No, I worked at, with Mrs. Della her name was. It was in Queen Street making baby clothes. And then she was offered this job as a, a, a boss lady at this um, lingerie place down at Newstead. So she took me with her. Mm. So we went down, we worked there and down there at Newstead. And then we moved up to the valley with the same firm. And then they closed down and then I got a job at Freedman's making suits. Oh. So what? I was there till I've left work. Was that? Yeah, I worked there for about four years, five years. Did you work after you got married? A little while, yeah, yeah. How did you meet your husband? At dad's work. I'd walk out there in the afternoon after work and Brian used to be, he used a blue, blue Vauxhall and I used to say to Pam Mobbs because she'd be walking out there with me too and I'd say, gee, he's nice looking, isn't he? And Pam said, yeah, and she was engaged. Anyway, he beckoned us over one day and she thought, oh, he's going to ask me out. But he didn't ask me out. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone said about Brian, oh, you, you'll be right now, Brian, you're in suite with, your do with the, the uh, boss's boss. daughter. It's a long courtship. It's a couple of years we were going together. But he proposed to me a fortnight after we were going together. We're, I'll never forget we were in Tuong Picture Theatre and he said, I'd like to put a ring on that finger. And cheeky me said, I want one on that one first. Mm -hmm.